Okay, here it is. The vi oh! oh! If you saw the last video, I bought a pig with my girlfriend. Yo, what? Yeah, yeah. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is Pearl Bing Bing. She's a mini pig. She's a gem. She's perfect, Pearl Bing Bing. But yeah, guys, as you know, the next vlog is entirely about her. It's kind of our first day living with Pearl. So if you are not a part of the Logan, make sure to subscribe because not only are we the most lit family on YouTube, as you know, but now we have a pig named Pearl Bing Bing. Okay, so you're subscribed now. Today's video is actually it's my analysis of my fight with K. KSI. And look, I know what you're thinking, right? The KSI thing is getting old. We've been talking about the fight for too long, and I agree. I promise this is my last video talking about the fight until we figure out when the rematch is going to be. But I figured it'd be cool to talk about what was going on in my mind during the biggest internet event in history, during my first ever boxing match. So f yeah, bro. F yeah. Let's dive in. Oh my God. Yo. Oh. Hearing him say my name, like, th this is the let's get ready to rumble, dude. Like, you see, I'm, like, walking out, like, trying to act cool and stuff, but in my mind, I'm just, like, fanboying so hard. So during the whole ring walk, I'm not gonna lie, I was oddly calm. I had one goal, and it was to beat the shit out of KSI. Nothing else really mattered. Like, I phased out the crowd, my friends, everything. I got in there, I raised my hands. And by the way, to every one of my fans and Jake's fans that showed up at the arena, you guys were absolutely amazing. I'm surprised that there weren't more KSI and Deji fans there. It actually seemed pretty even. They know they can't touch us! <sighs> so KSI came out wearing the full mask, obviously, and I did not see this, but this is, oh God, this has gotta be the cheesiest, most cringe thing I've ever seen in my life. And I'm, I can be pretty cringe. Like I've made some pretty cringe content, but this is bad, dude. Look at it, oh no! <laughs> in a horror movie, he like turns his head, he's like. Here's the best part, look at, I'm not even looking at him, my back is turned, right? I didn't even see that weird shit happening. So then we're facing off, I, again, I'm pretty chill, JJ's making kissy lips at me, and he's like, he's moving them up and down, it's really, really weird. You guys know this, he loves to play the mental game. And so like, still, literally moments before the fight, he's like trying to get in my head. But again, I had like tunnel vision right now, so no matter how hard he tried to kiss me, was not gonna phase me. So the bell rings, we're kind of getting a feel for each other. He's throwing a couple punches, I'm throwing a couple jabs. Right off the bat, I learned that he's actually surprisingly quick. Cause I'm pretty quick, but he was he was dodging some punches, he was moving like at a pretty good pace. And again, at this point in my boxing career, I don't really know what the f I'm doing. But I did realize I was a little bit faster, so I got pretty comfortable. Yeah, big right hand right there. But it's crazy, cause like, I'm in the ring with this guy who's this, Incredible, invincible, YouTubing, boxing, rapping dude. And like in the first round, I'm big right hand, just I'm fucking this dude up. So right here, like KSI does this all the time, right there. Like, I don't know what the fuck this is or how after a year of training, you're still doing this stuff. Like what, these aren't punches, man. So there's about one minute left and I, I start to enjoy myself. Cause I'm like, damn, I'm quicker than this dude. He's sloppy as shit. I'm gonna have fun. So I turn on the jets. Dude, the, the, these jabs are so fucking quick. Like, <laughs> There's nothing he can do and I know that so I put my hands down just snap these jabs out bang 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 at this point I'm having so much fun like I'm literally just smiling because it's my fight. I'm controlling it He's literally at the mercy of my hands. I'm such an a-hole I was like shaking my head and stuff like yo, what's good? Like what are you gonna do because like again? This is not like the KSI we see on the internet this dude's getting picked apart in front of millions of people It gets really bad right here big right hand and then watch bang Bang, bang, bang. Oh, oh. One more time, baby. It's just a big right hand. And then it's a, just a one, three, two, three. All of them land, followed up with another hook. Ah. This is where I fucked up. And I should have, I, I don't know why I did this, but I stop and I'm, I'm, I'm holding my arms out like, let's go, bro. What's fucking good? And I should have just attacked him. Like I probably could have ended the fight right there. What JJ's good at, what I'm good at too. We can both take hits. We both got really good chins, but that shit does rattle you. It does phase you. If you get hit hard, like sure you can take hits, but if your brain hits the edge of your skull, like that's it. So this is my mistake, just stopping like that. That's not gonna happen again in the next fight. It's funny though, cause after those two punches right there, you can see KSI, like just, a, oh my God, that's such a flush jab. Uh -huh! Bang. You can see right there, this is where he started to respect me. You can see he, oh f Cause after this flurry of punches, this is where I saw his spirit break. KSI, the internet guy, became JJ, some kid from London. You guys know before the fight, we were going back at it, playing mental games, whether it was on Twitter, YouTube, whatever. Like he tweeted at me once, you're a pussy hole. I'm gonna put you in deep waters, boy. You can do whatever you want to try to protect yourself, but it won't matter. 
just wait at Logan Paul. And then you hit him with these four punches, one after another, and I'm like, are, was, were those the deep waters you were talking about? Because you kind of look like a bitch right now. You're a scared little boy. You're in way over your head. I know you're scared, Logan. It's okay to be. Soon your audience will realize you're all you're not all that. And then again, it's like, oh, my audience is going to realize that? Literally, I'm playing ping pong with your brain inside of your skull. Ridiculous. <laughs> Anyways, the first round ends. I go to my corner. You can see my coach is jumping up and down like a like a little boy who just found his first pubic hair. I'm sitting in my corner, literally like almost 100% energy, feeling savage. I know I just beat the shit out of this guy. And I'm not just saying this. This was easier than any sparring session I had this year. Literally. So I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, this is my fight. This is easy work. There's no way this guy is going to beat me. I even said to my coach at one point, I go, yo, Milt, why is this so easy? I've sparred potatoes that were better than this. So second round starts. He's a little scrappier. He starts to turn on the Jets a little bit. Okay. I knew it was coming eventually, but still, I'm quicker than him. He's a little sloppy. So the jabs, they land, land, land every time. There's two jabs right there. <laughs> dude, what the, what the f*** is this, dude? What is... This punch, what is that? Dude wants to go pro, he doesn't even know how to throw a punch. Oh my god, bro. It's just domination. Literally, it's too easy. I'm quicker than him, I see his punches coming from a mile away. Like, watch this, he goes to throw the big right, pull back, uppercut, and then straight right to the freaking. Ah! And then again, I make the mistake of standing there versus jumping on him, because I was like, almost like patting myself on the back, like, wow. Good job, you're doing good, Logan, instead of like actually boxing him <laughs> into the rope. So at this point in the fight, I had full energy. I felt great. He was starting to land some punches, but still, just bang, bang. There, there's nothing he could do to stop me. And then you guys know <laughs> the clinch. Ooh, the clinch. That's my wrestling background kicking in. And in boxing, you can do this when you're in trouble or things aren't going your way, or you even want to break, you can like hug the dude and clinch him and get out of it. And you can best believe, if I'm in a position that I don't like, I am gonna grab the shit out of you. And if you don't like it, suck my ass! This was funny. Jordy was talking about how uh, KSI hits hard, and there's like a four second pause, and then Joe Weller is like, No he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Live internet! Joe just had to slip that in. Amazing. But on that note, I didn't think he didn't hit hard. I've sparred dudes who hit harder, but like, he throws big punches and when they land, like, obviously they don't feel the greatest. I am so disappointed in myself for this. So JJ fakes up and then he goes to the body. Bang. He does it again. Fake up, go to the body. Bang. And then, I should've known there was something coming, man! It's happened to be in sparring sessions. This exact move does it again. I get whacked in the face! Oh, yo, but I knew he was gonna be like, oh, I hit him for the first time. So immediately returned all those. So he hits me and then bang, 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 three punches right off the bat. Don't give him time to think. And then a fast jab, quick jab. Again, guys, I'm at like 90% energy right now. I feel amazing. The pullbacks are still there. I'm still striking hard. And then you guys know the bell rings. This, this dude, oh my God. Look, I've always been a fair sport. I've never, I've never been one to play dirty, but this kid is a dirty fighter, man. And this hit after the bell, like, sure, it didn't do anything, but like, what's good, bro? You can see, like, I, I turn and I'm like smiling and shit. Yo, what are you gonna do? And then Jake hops in the ring. I, I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what Jake was gonna do. I don't know what he was thinking. I will say, I have never seen Jake. This, uh, the word to describe him would be primal. I've never seen his heart so invested in something like the the dude who was um cheering and yelling at me in my corner was not jake paul that night because remember guys jake was fighting deji and uh, again deji man you impressed all of us but we all know you were going to lose jake we all we all knew jake was going to win that fight brother jake i love you for this bro i know you were mainly doing it for me you were mainly doing it to push me and make sure i was where i needed to be for this fight and jake actually told me he was more nervous and hyped for my fight than he was his own so Jake, bro, you know this. I f***ing love you. Thank you, man. This dude always got my back, even if he's going to stop himself in the middle of the ring. <laughs> so it's the end of the second round. I'm in my corner, and I'm at straight up. I, I'm talking to my coach. I feel great. I'm at like 90% energy. I cannot be stopped. Like, I just won the first two rounds without a doubt. So the bell rings right here. I don't know what the fuck happened, 
literally had zero energy. I was feeling so good, like invincible. The bell rang, I was like, what the f is wrong with me? Where is all my energy? Gone, just dissipated in a matter of seconds. And I'm like, oh sh it's literally, it's the beginning of the third round. I have four rounds to go. How am I gonna do this? Like, look, <laughs> I don't know why the ref was taking this time to talk to KSI, but I'm I'm like leaning on the ropes. I'm literally like, I'm sitting there like, oh sh this sucks. I don't know how I'm about to do these, these next, 12 minutes, I'm dead right now. And that was the beginning of the end of Logan Paul. So we start, this is where KSI one-ups me. He went like this, like he was getting more and more energy. So I'm still in the game, obviously, like three, two big punches, like kudos to JJ for taking these and like, he, like dude's got a warrior spirit for sure. That's the one takeaway from this fight. But again, at this point, I realize I'm faking it. So KSI would land a couple. I get him in the clinch. I'm, I'm sort of buying time and I'm sort of trying to get him off of me. Like, it, it, it looks like he's doing stuff, right? Only like one of those landed, but Joe Weller actually did a, a full breakdown of this round. If you guys really wanna see, you should go check out his video. He did not land that many punches. It looked like it because he was swinging a lot and everyone in the arena thought like he was the aggressor, but he missed most of them. And when it comes to significant strikes, there was less than three. So about halfway through the third, this is definitely where the table started to turn. Like, check us out. I throw this big right hand, bang, get him across the chin. But he's like, nah, I'm not done yet. But he, again, he missed that punch. But look, when you pay it, play it in fast motion, it looks like he lands it, but it, ugh. I was robbed, man, from this fight. I think most people that watch it back afterwards realize, but damn, this sucks. And listen, you can hear the commentator say, <laughs> He's landing now. He's landing now. He's landing now. No, he's not! But it looked like it because his hands are flying everywhere. Story of the fight, man. KSI misses with a big right hand. <laughs> Jordy is so right. He goes, Logan's looking a little bit tired now. Yeah. Yeah, man. Literally had zero in my tank. I was just faking it at this point. <laughs> So this is where he threw me. I was not happy about that, man. For me, it's frustrating because it's like, dude, if you want to throw me, again, Let's do MMA. Let's make the rematch happen in, in the octagon. But I know you won't do that because you're a little bitch and you're a <laughs> using your own words and you have to fight dirty. You throw me down in a boxing match. Just like, bro, I've said it before. You are a scumbag of a fighter. I cannot wait to hit you so hard you forget how to make YouTube videos. That's right, I said it. Bell rings, end of round three. Look at me, I literally bend over. First thing I do, I'm like, holy shit. Coach sat me down. Yo, what's going on? I'm like, I don't know, man. He's like, yo, you, what are you, tired? I'm like, yeah, I'm tired, coach. He goes, motherfucker, you told me you don't get tired, which I did. I did tell him that all through training camp. We'd be running stairs, running whatever, doing sprints, and he'd be like, you tired? And every time, trying to be like, you know, a man about it, I'd be like, I don't get tired. But I don't know, something happened in this fight where like all my energy was drained so quick. So I look at him, I'm like, yeah, coach. I lied. I'm freaking tired now. He goes, no, you're not. This is your fight. Get up there. And I'm like, oh, fuck. So it's round four. I'm like, all right, at this point, I got to play smart. So I made a mental note before this round. I'm like, I'm literally going to cruise through this round so I can have enough energy to win the fifth round and get that 4-2 decision. Pretty much everything I'm throwing here, it's a little sloppy. It's to keep him off me, keep me looking busy. But this was 100%. Definitely his round. He just controlled it. His sort of uh, scrappy movements and energy played to his advantage here. This part was interesting. We got in this clinch here and I, I push him over and he, like a, like he's so dramatic. He puts both arms out and is just splaying himself on the ropes. You can see my arm is cocked back. And I made the decision not to break his ribs. I'm a good sport about it. Next time I'm going to, it's a fight. So I definitely should have been an asshole. My pig, what's my pig doing? Pearl Bing Bing, what are you doing? Oh, she's so cute. At Pearl Bing Bing on Instagram, by the way. So it's end of round four. You can see I'm in the corner. I am dying, bro. Like this is death to me. If you've ever felt this feeling before, it might be the worst feeling in the world. Just completely out of energy, but knowing you still have more to do. And this is where the mental game comes in. Luckily, this is what I've been training my whole entire life for. Fifth round, this is it. I saved up enough energy. Right away, comes out of the bang, bang, bang! So I knew I was gonna win this round. I told myself, again, if I, like the fight was under my control. If I wanted to win a round, I could do it. The only thing I was playing with was the levels of energy I had. This is the moment right here that won me this round. So right here, he starts doing this duck thing and I hit him with one punch right there on the side of his head. And he must've been rattled a little bit, like he was guarding, but 
It was strictly defensive. I went on, went on the offensive and just threw a flurry of punches. And as I'm throwing these, I'm like, dude, I, I hope one of these knocks him out. Because if this doesn't work, I have no energy left. Ah! This face right here, <laughs> this is the face of disappointment that you still have a round and a half to go. <laughs> so I turn around, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm still fighting. Okay, so we get in there. And then again, just sloppy boxing from both of us. Just exhaustion. But he doesn't make that final push that would have run him, won him the round back. So it's the end of round five. <laughs> I'm like fast forward through this look. I'm just leaning on the ropes. I'm, f oh my God, I can't emphasize enough how dead I am. I don't even need to train boxing this next, th for the rematch, dude. If I just have more energy, can you imagine if I didn't get tired? The fight's mine, easy. This dude's not boxing, he's like backyard brawling. Oh my God, I feel, I feel bad for myself. So it's the final round at this point. KSI didn't finish me like he said he was going to do in the fourth round. I didn't finish him like I said I was going to do in the third round. We both realized that we're f***ing warriors and this is going to be a dog fight. Unfortunately for me, at this point in the fight, I was a bag of wet noodles. That's that's the best way to describe me. Look at KSI pushes me at one point and the ref turns his back. I literally <laughs> I take a break and I just sit on the ropes. Like, that's it, bro. <laughs> be a maverick. Like, who tells you you're not allowed to do that? during the middle of a boxing match. I'm a rule breaker, baby. Read the merch. Read the freaking merch, dude. By the way, if you haven't copped it yet, you know where to do so. Link in description or loganpaul.com slash shop. So put quite simply, this sixth round, mentally I was sent back to the third grade. This is where I was not quicker than him. I wasn't anything better than him. So he was able to land these big punches. And again, if he didn't knock me out, I'm just the type of dude like, I could take these hits. So unless I go unconscious, like you're not, I'm still gonna keep coming forward. Oh my god, this is so, this is just a dog fight. Gotta give it to him, man. Gotta give it to him. Don't like the kid, but gotta give it to him. So there's about 15 seconds left. When I say I'm on the verge of death, it's not a joke. Literally, he's just bang, bang, headshot, body shot. I am about to collapse. I'm like, when is this bell gonna ring? Bell rings? This might be... The greatest moment of my life. Like I was so relieved. The first thing I do is go over to the ropes and lean over. Just sheer relief. And they 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 picked him up right away. I'm like, what the? F I'm like, bro, you definitely didn't win. I knew I either won or it was a draw, but I knew I didn't lose. And Jay told me the same thing. He's like, yo, you did not lose, but you might have had a draw. And sure enough, dude raises both of our hands. Just confusion, no idea what's going on, no idea what a majority draw means or how that conclusion was reached. Cause again, I'm not a boxer, I didn't study boxing. Everyone is just confused. My coach goes, that's good, it means you didn't lose. And in my mind, I'm like, okay, but I also didn't win. And then the first thought was like, damn, the rematch is gonna be that much crazy. Like that would happen. That would happen in my life where it's just a, a, a tie. But nonetheless, it was fun. I obviously know going into it next time that uh, if I don't get tired, there's no chance of me losing. I don't even want to sit here and like say how bad I'm going to beat KSI or like the things I'm going to do to him. I'll leave that up to your guys' imagination. And KSI, you know, bro. There's literally no hope. But I respect you as a fighter. Uh, looking forward to this rematch. Guys, if you're not a part of the low gang, gang, gang skirt, make sure to subscribe and cop the hottest, softest merch in the game. LoganPaul.com slash shop or link in description. Low gang, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being a part of my life. And thank you guys for being Maverick. Someone's got to do it. Someone's got to change the world. And I'm going to leave that up to y'all. I will see you next time, guys. Take it easy, vampoo!